Today feels like an achievement. We are on our way back to Auckland. So we are driving to Auckland on the most beautiful day of the year. <laughs> Yep, Laura pretty much hit the nail on the head right here as we are driving from the town of Tauranga back to Auckland this morning It is absolutely pouring down with rain. It's relentless all the way Well, 325 days ago or 326 days ago, we were leaving in this line of traffic on the other side of the road sort of totally stoked that we were on the opposite side of the traffic like woo we're leaving Auckland and now we are those people heading into Auckland I feel like I don't know what this means but we're going back to civilization but the good news is that with civilization comes chocolate and yes we are hitting the coffee of Auckland city center almost right away as we arrive because it's raining we need a hot cocoa oh my god <gasps> Mm. It's melting so quickly. <laughs> we find this awesome little coffee shop called The Shelf, which is on High Street, which is just parallel to the main street of Auckland called Queen Street. But anyway, our main activity of the day is the New Zealand Maritime Museum. It comes as no surprise that in the city, which is nicknamed the City of Sales, that the New Zealand Maritime Museum is based. And you can find it just on the Viaduct Harbour. Plus, it's the perfect rainy day activity to do on a day like today. We choose to do one of the guided tours that's included as an optional extra in your fee into the Maritime Museum. And they run every day, either at 10.30 a.m or 1 p.m. and we have an awesome guide with us who is called Dom and he is super passionate about what he's doing as he's actually a volunteer guide here. They catch sharks by hand. What they do, they rattle these coconut shells in the water in front of the boat. It sounds like a group of small fish. Yeah. Then the shark comes in to eat the small fish and then at the back of the boat lassoes it and carries it ashore and says what a brave man am I. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> The first exhibition that we're checking out is the Landfalls exhibition, which tells the stories and techniques of the early Polynesians and Europeans and how they found New Zealand, which it's actually a pretty hard thing to find. New Zealand is really isolated in the South Pacific Ocean and one of the newest countries to actually be colonised. The New Zealand's Maritime Museum has a massive collection. It literally boasts having ships, memorabilia, miniatures, replicas of every single era of the shipping history of the country. It's quite amazing. And the next exhibition that we are heading to right now is called The Immigrants. Actually, the real name of the exhibition is New Beginnings and it traces the story of many early immigrants towards New Zealand. I am Wilhelmina Sheriff Bain. I am John Denver. I was born in Glasgow, Scotland. Oh, in 1913. Sorry. And when I was 10 years old, my father took me over here. <laughs> As we are making our way inside an actual real rocking room mimicking what a boat journey would look like, we are keeping preciously with us our cards because they tell the story of real migrants to New Zealand. Yes, been free to That's a back. double bed. That's a double bed. That's not a double bed. It's absolutely crazy how simple were the amenities in those boats and they were on those boats for many, many months making their way all the way to New Zealand. But we're quickly moving on from the rocking room because honestly, it was gonna give us seasickness and we are keep on following the story of the migrants that we kept the card of at the beginning of this exhibition. And the real cool thing about this exhibition is that at the end, we know the fate of our immigrants. The fate, your family settles in Invercargill and you become a teacher and librarian. That sounds like Laura. <laughs> <laughs> hey Johnny, after working as a farmhand and a storeman in Christchurch, you enlist into the army at the outbreak of World War II. Twice you escape from prisoner of war camps in Yugoslavia before commanding a partisan band of soldiers and becoming a decorated war hero. Yeah. 
next exhibition that we're checking out is the whaling exhibition and this is kind of the dark side of the maritime history of New Zealand but New Zealand actually had a huge amount of whaling stations back in the day. Boo whaling boo! So we've had a look at the New Zealand maritime history through all these different amazing exhibitions but now we're going to move on to the more contemporary side of things and New Zealand culture's connection to boating and the ocean. More specifically, we are looking at the America's Cup, which New Zealand is a huge contender in this massive sailing race around the world. What's really cool about this exhibition is there's lots of interactive displays. You can pretend to be sailing one of the America's Cup boats. You can also make your own yacht. Uh, but one of the best things of this exhibition is the huge America's Cup racing boat right in the middle of the room. Next up, we also get to see the boat from the top, which is really cool because it's a huge boat. And then we move on to the Edmiston Gallery, which has heaps of memorabilia from the very early sailors to New Zealand. From the second level of the museum, we get to see all the boats that we saw from the bottom on a whole new level. We get to see all the sails and the sailing deck. It's really awesome. And there's even a room where we can see how early navigators used to actually find their bearings using the stars. Speaking of stars, it's now after dark and speaking of bearings, we're about to lose ours because we are heading to a pub crawl. Laura and I have to catch up with a ton of friends, so we are heading from one pub to the other for the whole night, catching up with everybody. There's heaps of beers to be had, there's heaps of late night cravings that we have, and obviously Auckland Central being so busy and lively, it is satisfied to its fullest. Yum, yum, yum. You know how one drink leads to another and then you end up going out and then eating pizza and then waking up the next morning with a huge headache. Well, that all happens because we're back in Auckland. Oh, two, three. Wow. Oh, you can actually see inside. Here we go.